Some of you may have heard me refer to Gresham Police Officer Ryan Rasmussen testifying on the witness stand during my trial as the state's ambush expert witness and saying that police are not trained to draw a firearm, point it at a person, not shoot, and reholster. Here's the audio from that part of his testimony. And uh, what is the training that you do with regard to being in that low ready position versus actually pointing the gun sound mask at a person? If, if my officers are, very rarely are my officers going to point a gun at somebody and not shoot them. I'm not going to say that never happens. And we're trying to get away from pointing our weapons at somebody that we don't have the authority to use lethal force against. We're trying to get to the communicating with them at a low ready, and then if we perceive a threat, punching out and engaging that threat. We don't indiscriminately point our weapons at people. By saying that they're trying to get away from pointing their firearms at people whom they do not have the authority to use lethal force against, Rasmussen is admitting that his department and his officers that he personally trained are doing that exact same thing. But let's continue on. And that's, that's the training? Yes. So is it, is it correct, and am I understanding correctly, that the officers are trained not to actually as a person until they're pulling the trigger? Correct. So if you are someone in Oregon whom a police officer has pointed their gun at but not shot, according to their own firearms instructor and use of force expert, that is not how officers are trained. It's not reasonable and it's an unlawful use of a weapon. Now many may disagree with that and think that it's a perfectly acceptable use of a firearm, but our opinions don't matter. It's the opinions of the judges, DAs, and police that matter. So if you've been subject to these crimes committed by police officers, then I suggest you report them to the district attorneys and retain your own attorney for a civil lawsuit. I personally have seen police officers draw their firearms, point the firearms at a person, not shoot, and reholster. Here's a video I took where police engaged a guy with a knife. They drew their firearms, engaged the person, issued verbal commands. That person with the knife followed those commands and dropped the knife. He ceased to be a threat at that point, and the officers didn't shoot, so they reholstered. Apparently, that is not how officers are trained. So what's going to happen is people are going to start suing law enforcement agencies, the cities and counties, whenever an officer or deputy pulls a firearm on them and doesn't shoot. At a certain point, the city and county leaders will come down on the police chiefs and sheriffs, saying that their force needs to use greater caution before drawing. And that's going to result in more officers being put in harm's way and subject to possible assault by potentially dangerous suspects. I know for a fact Ryan Rasmussen's testimony is being used in at least two civil suits against the police. I'm also aware of another case where charges were dropped on a guy who was found in a stolen car and then sped away through a neighborhood, endangering everyone around, because Gresham police officers were caught on camera drawing their firearms at the person and not shooting. Rasmussen's testimony had set up the suspect for a self-defense case, and then Rasmussen being called to the stand is to again testify as the use of force expert and firearms trainer would either have to throw his fellow officers under the bus or he'd have to admit that he lied during my trial. And since the DAs and police want to avoid that, they drop charges on this guy, leaving the suspect free to go out and steal more cars and endanger more people with his reckless behavior. But the DAs and police, all of that is just collateral that they are willing to accept as long as it means me being convicted of multiple felonies for drawing my firearm in self-defense. Now, the other side of this is that we will see more officer-involved shootings because once an officer draws in the back of their head, they know that they have committed to shooting at that point in order to avoid a lawsuit or punishment for not shooting. And since police are more likely to contact people of color, this will result in more people of color being shot by police. Congratulations, leftist activists. By doing everything possible to throw the book at me, you've inadvertently put more black people at risk of being shot by police, the very thing that you are protesting against.